everyone and welcome back to the vlog. Um, I am in London if you haven't already told by the fact I'm on the train and the background of me. I'm on Oxford Street right now, well I'm actually just off of Oxford Street because I am heading into Selfridges. Um, I don't have my tripod with me today so if I'm a little bit close like this it's because I can't get too far away because my arm isn't that long and I just can't hold my arm out to vlog properly. Anyway, I have a very hectic busy day today. I am coming to Selfridges now to get some brunch with some of the girls from Pretty Little Thing and some other bloggers. We are then going to Pretty Little Thing's gifting suite. I'm just gonna have a day out in London basically and hopefully at the end of this I'll have some stuff to like haul with you and show you stuff that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing. But first of all, I'm going to Selfridges. Welcome back. Good morning. Good day. And you. the world's worst vlogger because I said I was going to show you guys what I had in Selfridges and I didn't show you anything. I actually just ate and had a laugh with the girls. I'm now in the PLT showroom or in their gifting suite so I'm going to pick some stuff out and I'll try it all on at a later date because we're not going to try it on here today. So yeah, apologies I didn't show you my breakfast. I will insert a picture around here of what we did have. It was very yummy indeed and I've had like the best time with a really great bunch of girls. So yeah, I'm going to quickly pick some bits out and then I think I'm going to go to h and gift in sweet so yes yeah, turn to a day of bloggery things <laughs> really kept you two up to date on my day. I've left Pretty Little Thing now, quite obviously, because I'm in a different location, and I am at the H&M gifting suite. Um, yeah, I've been kindly invited here, and I've just come to come and like pick out some new season bits. I'm probably not gonna try them on here. I'll try them on with like my PLT stuff when I get home later on tonight or tomorrow, but some of this stuff, well, all of it actually, is really nice, so I thought I'd run you through a few bits. the last place I left you I was still in London and I am clearly not still in London I had the scattiest day that day like it was such a good day you'd have seen it already because I've added the vlog footage to the beginning of this video but I kind of said I was going to do things in the vlog and then never actually did them I just sometimes find when you go to London you've got so much to think about and so much to do it's really hard to keep vlogging all the time and because I'm so new to this as well I just forget so hopefully I will get better like as time goes on. I'm quite clearly now at my house. I did tell you in the vlog that I was gonna show you like all the stuff I got from H&M. Um, because I did get some really lovely bits and I'm gonna show you now Obviously it would have been better if I'd have shown you in the showroom But we were in like such a rush because we were trying to beat like rush hour traffic Because I don't know if any of you get on the train, but honestly trains in rush hour like you do not get a seat So we just quickly went in grabbed what we wanted and then just left if you can hear a little bell in the background It is because my cat is running around. Shall I get him? Hang on Who's that Chris? Chris he did actually feature in my first video. <laughs> he loves this light, it's so weird. Every single time I start filming, he gets so involved, like. <laughs> anyway, now I've stopped rambling, let's get on with the haul. First item is actually 
actually this jumper that I have on today. It was only, I think, £17. I don't still have the label in it. I'll link everything, as always, in the description box down below. I just thought it looked really nice, like I'm showing you, with a pair of mum jeans on. Finished off with a pair of trainers or a trench coat. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be thinking, why are you buying knitwear? Like, it's about to go into summer. But I always think that knitwear is needed because, let's face it, in the UK, it never actually gets that hot. And jumpers like this look really nice with light jeans, denim shorts, even just to have just to chuck on over something. I actually think this looks really nice as well with a white shirt underneath. If you follow me on Insta, you'll know I love layering with a shirt. The next item of clothing I picked up was this kind of like polo neck style top. I hate saying polo neck because you remember like when you used to pee at school and you used to wear a polo neck. It definitely doesn't look or feel like those but yeah it is that sort of style. It's obviously got this button detail down it as well. The material is kind of like a really sort of stretchy kind of fabric and it's really nice feel to it. I just think stuff like this is really handy. It's kind of like a real decent basic. So that was bit number two. Moving on. The cat is literally now sat on all of my stuff. Next items, and these were actually my favourite items. So, what they are, they are a top and skirt set. Now, I saw this on the rail and I was like, oh my god, like, I need that. I love a co-ord, I think that's how you say them. Basically, it is when your top matches your bottom. It could be shorts and shirt, it could be blazer and shorts, blazer and trousers, you get the idea. It's basically just like a matching set and this is exactly what these are. They've got like the tortoise shell buttons on them, on both the skirt and the top has that. They're this lovely kind of knitted stretchy material, so this is going to be super comfortable. Great kind of travelling outfit, but at the same time it could really be dressed up even with a pair of heels and you could actually wear this properly on like a daytimey sort of thing out i just think these things are really chic and really comfortable and i think this is probably my favorite thing i picked up from h&m also i'm fully realizing whilst i'm doing this that everything is neutral colors but there's no change there because we all know freya likes neutral colors unless it's percy pigs and then she really enjoys pink moving on to item number three Item number three is this kind of like oversized jacket. I've got it in a size medium. The girl did actually tell me though that this wasn't going to be out for about three weeks. So it might be online now as always. I'll double check and leave it down below. If not, I'll try and find some kind of like alternative items to link below as well. Yeah, it's just this really oversized baggy fit. I just thought this would look really cool. You could wear like kind of a unitard underneath it. I was thinking of like a white unitard with this over the top pair of trainers and a bum bag. That was my original thoughts. And then I thought it would look really cool because I'm kind of sure this wouldn't work for everyone because I am sure it would kind of work as like a dress. And then that brings me on to my new shoes that I thought I was going to wear with this jacket. Now, my new shoes shoes aren't actually that new well they are they are brand new i'm just covering my delivery label here but if you watched my vlog where i went to london and i think i did like a louis vuitton unboxing i've already bought these shoes once before now they arrived in a size five and i am a size four i had a nightmare trying to send them back because the company i got them from was from canada in all fairness to them they were kind of good and they said they'd like sort me out free shipping and stuff but honestly the hassle to send them back was a joke so i ended up selling them um, privately on my instagram and i've actually repurchased them from the actual Dr. Martin store because you've already seen the label so you know what they're gonna be so let me get this open and then we can continue so here is the big box if you didn't watch that video then this is still gonna be exciting to you because you're not gonna know what they are if you've already watched it then sorry for this boring bit they are Dr. Martin's in white now i already have these in black and i have worn them so much over the winter i have already spoken about this in a previous video so i'm not going to talk about it too much more but i thought these would look great with loads of things but especially with this denim dress so as you can see i've put on the oversized shirt with the dr martins and I just think the whole look with these shoes on and that dress on, I just think it looks like really casual and cool. Now this outfit wouldn't be perfect for everyone because I am only short and if you were tall you couldn't wear this as a dress. But like I said it would look really cool with like a unitard, it would also look really cool with like cycling shorts, trainers, t-shirts. 
I'm just loving it. In a minute, I might actually discuss how to make these stop hurting because obviously these are brand new and if you've ever worn Dr. Martens before, you will know the pain that goes into wearing them. Oh my God, like I can't even explain to you. Like they ripped my feet apart. Like I actually swear I've got scars on my feet from the last ones, but I've learned some tricks. So after I finish this, I will show you the tricks that I've learned so you don't get scars all on your feet from them as well. Item number five, I think it's number five, I can't really remember. It's just this brown little jumper. I actually got this to wear with a cream skirt. So the cream skirt hasn't actually arrived yet because I've only just ordered it. But it's kind of like a skatery kind of frilly vibe and I just thought this would look really cute with it, with the Dr. Martens on as well. I'm just gonna show you it on now just with my mum jeans so you can see how it fits and stuff. I have it in a size medium. Same again, it's such a lovely material. I feel like everything I picked up from H&M was just kind of like really versatile and like wardrobe essentials. Nowadays, I so much prefer to like shop for stuff that I know I can wear like multiple times. Back in the day, I'd wear like really bright prints and like dresses and all of that sort of stuff. But what I realized is, you can obviously wear those things more than once, but everyone's seen it, you've already kind of done it. With all this sort of stuff that I picked up, you can kind of mix and match all of it and just wear it all multiple times. So yeah, that was my little H&M haul. Right, okay, so here are my at-home tips for making your Dr. Martens stop hurting. Now, I've been given a few tips so far. The first one was get a hammer and basically like hammer all the back, like put a cloth over your shoe, hammer all the back, hammer all the inside. The only thing I have against that is you're probably gonna wreck your shoe a bit. And with these white ones, if you were to hammer all of that, you just end up with marks all over it, even if you did put a cloth over the top of it. So I was never really too keen on that idea. The second idea I got told was the idea I'm actually about to show you. I have used this idea and I can say, it fully does work. I can't take credit for this. Someone from my Instagram actually DM'd me and told me to do this. And when I read it, I was like, really? But do you know what? She was so right. I can't remember what her name was or her Insta, so I can't like shout her out. But honestly, if she watches this, I just want to say thank you. And all of you will be saying thank you to her as well because she will solve your Dr. Martin pain. Anyway, what you need is one pair of Dr. Martins. And you need, are you ready for it? Some sanitary pads. Honestly, when I first read this, I was like, what? You need sanitary pads? But it's actually genius. Now these ones aren't very good because they're actually just like, kind of like the tenor lady lights. What you need is like the always ultra thick because you need some padding, okay? The reason this worked is because most girls will know this, that a tenor lady or sanitary pad is sticky at the back like this. What you need to do is you need to unstick this, you need to go into your Dr. Martin and place this at the back of your shoe. Not on the outside, but I'm just gonna show you how it would sit. It needs to sit in your shoe like this. So basically, you need to put it in your shoe and stick it to the back. What it does, it acts as a cushion and stops your shoes from cutting your feet to shreds. Trust me, I have learned the hard way because my black ones Wow, they drew blood like it was horrific. Now they are super comfortable. But if I was to wear these out today, just with a thin pair of socks on, I would honestly have feet in shreds in like two hours. And I think a lot of you that are now watching this bit will be relating to that issue as well. Got it stuck to everything. What you could also do is you could put two in and you could stick another one and then cut the bottom off and just stick it long ways. So then it's completely cushioned. Obviously, this is inside the shoe again because you don't want people to know you've got sanitary pads in your shoe because how are you going to explain that one? Let me just tell you, this won't completely stop them from rubbing. They are going to rub a little bit, but nowhere near as bad as if you don't do this. So that is my tip on how to stop your Dr. Martens from hurting. Maybe slightly weird, but I am slightly weird. Now, I am not sure how long this video is going to have been. I think it's going to have been kind of short because it has literally been all over the place but i said that in a previous vlog like honestly my life is actually all over the place so you know anyway all that being said i hope you've enjoyed this video and maybe seen some bits and pieces that you'd like got some tips on the sanitary pads in your dr martin's i think next sunday's video is going to be something to do with zara i hope you like zara because i seem to feature it really heavily on here i do on my instagram as well like it's my favorite shop so yeah next sunday's video is going to be something involving that i think so hopefully i will see you in that i'd love it so much if you'd like and subscribe and i shall see you next sunday bye